Hey guys, welcome back to Dawn Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're about for brand new benchmark. So let's say out Daymare 1994 Sandcastle for the PC. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i3-10105 with the NVIDIA GDX960 2GB VRAM graphics card. It is heavily overclocked as you can see with the core clock and the memory clock just to give me some extra boost in performance because why the heck not with these graphics cards. I'm running at 1080p on the low preset because you're going to need to if you're playing at 1080p. 720p you have a bit more breathing room which I kind of would recommend but 720p is doing 1080p is doing fine so that's uh, it gets really bad with the textures. Some of the textures are very blurred and you can't see them because lack of VRAM and there is moments in the game where it will slow down and I mean because it's loading in and swapping out textures. That is a thing even at 1080p low but regardless honestly I would recommend playing at 720p because the character models look terrible at 720 I mean 1080 low. Look, look at this. Like this is some stuff I would do once I go tweaking my settings in the ini file. And the config file, man, it looks terrible, but but yeah, just putting that out there. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, subscribe, see what I mean? And yeah, if you guys enjoy seeing me test games on low-end hardware like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I covered this the demo on most games already as it was. I'm pretty sure there's not much more to it than that. And I, I actually feel like I'm going to run into the demo shortly. <laughs> the way this is going, I feel like I'm going to run into the demo before I run into anything that I have to shoot. Very confused if I shoot anything before I get to that demo part. I do like the the effort that they've put into this one. It seems like they really wanted to go a very story narrative driven. I mean, believe me, I love it. I love when games go narrative driven. Those are the kind of ones that interest me to the, know what it is. Because most don't. So uh, I'm for it. I won't complain. Graphically, it's not the best, obviously. I'm going to actually play this once I'm done testing this on whatever. I'm actually gonna. I'm skipping everything right now, but I'm actually. This is. I'm actually going to actually just. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna guess that this is where. Yep. So I'm about to run right into the demo. Funny. So we just get to run outside a little bit. The game takes place in corridors. As you can see, the frame rate is really damn high. Like you're good with a graphic. A these any graphics card basically you can run this damn thing. Oh, oops. Hey, how did you turn on your flashlight again? There you go. We're gonna be great. The frame rates is really high. If any graphic, uh, uh, old graphics card, you can run this. And I, I do believe this supports DirectX 11. Or I'm not. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It's been a while since I tested the demo, man. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'll just go back and do it. But the fact that this is holding over 60 FPS the whole time is quite nice. We're only using 7.6 gigabytes of RAM as well. I got 32, so I'm good in that department. Even if a GDS 960 can run this, it shows how... It, this is more of an indie-ish title, you know? Trying to reach the AAA status. It ain't there, but you know. I ain't saying this some Hellblade or, or a Plague Tale. But it, it scratches the itch for if you, if you like Resident Evil, man. Which is why I'm going to sit down and actually try to enjoy it. I I actually do feel like maybe... I feel like the dialogue is terrible though, but you know. You see what I mean with the spider talk? talk like, guys, let's, let's not... Oh, actually, no. So, wow, the demo actually goes... A, so, this goes a lot further than the demo did. I'm impressed. You see what I mean? Like, there's a lot of blurred. The textures aren't loading in. I, I've seen this in Hogwarts Legacy as well. You know, it's funny. The most thing. I actually up the brightness. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is incredibly dark. Like, it's not even spooky dark. It's just annoyingly. I can't see what the hell is in front of me dark. And I raised the brightness before I even started the game because that's what I do. Because I'm like, man, this crap be dark, man. I can't be playing these games like this. I can't see a thing. It's nothing to do with the. It doesn't even. The, the scares don't even work on me at this point. I just can't see anything. There's nothing to be scared of. But once again, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Just gonna meet myself, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. The electrical system of the 
entire facility seems to be damaged, as if there was a major overload. I'm trying to work out what happened. I'll keep you posted.